Hi there, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Super excited to have you all here joining us for our Charlotte Tilbury YouTube Live. I have my friend LL in the chat. She is under the name Team Tilbury. She's welcoming all of you guys as well. So this class is all about that immediate skin revival. My name is Rashina Green. I might know some of you out there that are watching. Um, I do all of the North American YouTube lives for Charlotte Tilbury. I'm the digital events manager for Charlotte in North America. And I'm so excited to have you all here for the next 30 minutes. I am going live from sunny Southern California in San Diego. And I'd love to know where everybody's tuning in from. I see Allison from the UK. Hi there. Welcome, welcome. So this class is really going to be about how to get that gorgeous, hydrated, glowing skin. Um, it's that immediate skin revival. So Charlotte always likes to say a beautiful painting starts with a beautiful canvas. So we're going to go over some skincare, but we're going to do a full face of makeup as well. So we have 30 minutes really to, um, you know, make some magic happen. I see all my friends in here. Hello in Washington, DC and Canada, Italy, Dubai, Poland. Oh my gosh, we're so international. I love this. Hello in India. Bonjour in France. Um, and Holland, I don't think we've ever had anybody from Holland. Hi, Roberto. And Ohio, hello, uh, a local uh, American welcome. So we're going to jump right in there because, again, we have just 30 minutes to do a full face. As you can see, I'm just a bare face here. Um, a little bit about Charlotte, if you're brand new to our brand, is she is the world's number one makeup artist, and she is known as the queen of glow. All of our products here at Charlotte Tilbury are easy to use, easy to choose, and skincare infused. So what we like to say is our products are treat and transform. So even without makeup, my skin has really never felt better, looked better, and I've been using Charlotte skincare for almost six years now. So I'm really excited. Let's dive right in. Thanks, Roberto. Uh, this, this event is completely shoppable. Thanks for mentioning that. As I said, my friend um, LL is our chat moderator. She is named Team Tilbury. So she's going to be adding links in the chat. So if you are loving what I'm using, click those little babies. It's going to take you to charlottetilbury.com. You can add the products to your basket. You'll still be able to hear me in the background. Um, so you won't lose me. Don't worry. Some products have sold out in the past, so make sure that you add those right away so that you don't miss out. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into my skincare before we get into makeup. So the very first product I'm going to use is Charlotte's Magic Serum. So go ahead and let me know in the chat if you've had a chance to try this miracle serum, I feel like I want to call it. This is really, really great because you can use it day and night. And it has some really juicy ingredients. So really, it doesn't matter what type of skin you have, whether you're oily, dry, combination, normal, this product is for you. So Charlotte's Magic Serum Crystal Elixir, first of all, is really great if you have dry skin, because there's an ingredient in here that's four times more hydrating than hyaluronic acid. It's called polyglutamic acid. But if you are on the oily side, if you're an oily brother or sister out there, and you have larger pores, it does have niacinamide in it. So that's going to be really nice for shrinking your pores, tightening and lifting your skin. It also has golden vitamin C. So if you get a little bit of redness or discoloration, it's going to help brighten those up. So I always feel like this is the peanut butter to the magic cream jelly, which I know I feel like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are a very American thing. So wherever you're from, <laughs> whatever goes together, that's what these do to do. So now that I have the Magic Serum on. I'm going to go ahead and go in with Charlotte's Magic Cream. So in the title of this class, we're talking about how we do the magic massage. So I know typically when I wake up in the morning, I just want to pop on my moisturizer and run out the door, or start my makeup, whatever it is. But if you really massage this into your face, you're going to get so many more benefits. So what I'm going to show you and teach you all today is Charlotte's Magic Massage. So what you want to do is you want to start with angel wings starting in the center of your face, and you want to blend upwards and outwards into the skin. And we're going to do what Charlotte calls the magic massage, which, help, which, which helps with lymphatic drainage. So in the morning, do you ever wake up and your skin is so puffy, maybe a little swollen from who maybe you had too much salt the night before, maybe a couple too many glasses of red wine. <laughs> so this is going to help sort of carve out 
those cheekbones. It's going to help slim underneath here, these little extra chins that nobody wants. So this is what the magic massage is going to do is give you that really beautiful sort of angles to your face. So I like to get my fingers like number ones and then go like this. And with the knuckle, you're going to carve out underneath this cheekbone. Do you guys see what I'm doing? Don't worry if your face gets red, that'll go away. But it's also really good to get circulation going in your face. We oftentimes don't get enough blood flow to the face. And when you have more blood flow to the face, that's what's going to help keep your collagen nice and boosted and it helps you, you know, stay young looking longer, which is really nice. So then you're, you know how when you have a little baby and you just want to pinch their cheeks like this, oh, so cute. So turn your hands like you're pinching a baby, but turn them towards yourself and pinch along the jaw. So can you see that I'm carving this out? I'm pinching a little baby, but I'm pinching myself. And this is going to really help carve out that jawline so that you get that really nice, 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 nice sort of model angled jaw. You might have a couple extra chins like I do, but don't worry. This is going to help minimize those. And don't forget to mind your neck blending upwards. The very last step in the magic massage is the Tilbury tap. So we like to just get our fingertips. And as I mentioned earlier, we want to bring the blood to the surface of the face. Uh, okay, I see some questions rolling in here. Thanks for answering them, LL. The magic serum is going to penetrate deeper into your skin um, because it has a smaller molecule. And then the magic cream is a moisturizer with a built-in makeup primer. So Charlotte never starts a makeup without the magic cream. So that's what we've got going on here. Um, so excited to have you, Suzanne. Welcome. Now that I've taken care of my face, we do not want to neglect our body. So Charlotte has come up with her brand new magic body cream. And obviously I'm not going to spend all day sort of shocking myself in this, but my, I'm, my arms are really dry. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit of this out and check this out. This is super duper hydrating glowing. It has hyaluronic acid in it and also has caffeine. So if anybody knows what caffeine does, it's really great to use under the eyes because it takes away puffiness. So if you have a little cellulite, you want a little tightness, maybe a little dimples on your thighs, this is going to help tighten up all of those areas so that it appears smoother and tighter. So I'm just putting this on and like, look at how much more hydrated versus this like look at how dry you guys up close this is embarrassing this is like crocodile skin and then look at this smooth instantly smooth and hydrated skin like are you kidding me magic body cream <laughs> has been a savior this hand actually feels really dry now so I'm gonna put a little bit on this side all right so now to wrap up the skincare portion I'm going to hydrate my lips because they're looking a little dry. So I'm going to be using Charlotte's Magic Lip Oil. This is really great because it is a lip conditioner by day and it's a lip mask by night. I actually like to put this on a little past my lips because it has this Swartian leaf extract that helps prevent vertical lines. You know how like if you're a cigarette smoker or maybe you drink water bottles or you pucker your lips up a lot, we'll start to get these little tiny lines here. And this is actually going to help prevent them in the long run. Just like so. So let's jump right into the makeup, everybody. Um, is it better to use the serum on dry or wet skin? I like to use it on my dry skin. Um, it absorbs just fine, totally fine. Uh, I also, a little pro tip, you guys, we just did New York Fashion Week not too long ago, and we pumped a little bit of the, or a couple drops of the serum into our foundation to kind of give ourselves like a tinted foundation look, and you can totally do that, mix and match them as you see fit. All right, so now I'm going to go right in with the beautiful skin foundation. So as I mentioned, I have prepped my canvas, and I'm going to go right in with the beautiful skin foundation and I use the shade seven warm. You can apply this with your hands. You can apply this with a brush. I'm going to be using the, one of my favorite brushes here. This is the magic complexion brush. And I really love this because this foundation is more of a medium coverage. I like it because I have a little bit of freckles here, as you can see, and it still looks like my skin. So I'm actually going to do half my face so you can kind of see the difference between what they do. Roberto, you're going to love these tips. I'm telling you, these models at Fashion Week, their skin looked like an absolute dream. So if you want that hydrated, glowing, sheer appearance, mix that 
uh, magic serum into any of your foundations, especially your drier foundations, like your more matte foundations, or even your full coverage foundations that you want to make a bit sheerer. So we were mixing them with our airbrush flawless or yeah, our, our airbrush flawless foundation, but you can also mix them with your beautiful skin foundation that I'm applying right now. So as you guys can see, beautiful before, beautiful after. That's what Charlotte likes to say. So I like to give myself a little bit of a tan. So I'm using the shade seven warm. I have more of, I mean, my skin's a little neutral because I do get some pink in my skin, but overall my chest is a little bit warmer. Oh, it looks kind of pink today because I was out in the sun all weekend, but overall I'm more golden and olive. So my undertone is warm. If you are more on the pink side, then your undertone is cool. If you kind of run a little bit right in the in between, I always like to say one apple, one banana, then you're in neutral. So that's a really good way if you want to select your colors on your own to finding your undertone. Another good uh, interesting fact, and I don't know that it's exactly science, but if you feel like you look better in gold jewelry, then chances are your undertone is warm. If you feel like you look good in silver jewelry, then chances are your undertone is cool. If you feel like you could wear both, then chances are you're a neutral. So that's a fun little fact there as well. I like to wear both. So like you could even see my jewelry here. I have two bracelets and one is silver and one is gold because I kind of feel like I'm neutral. Oh, thanks, Rashika. I love my freckles too. People like to hide them, but... I feel like freckles kind of remind me of, you know, I feel like they look quite youthful. That's why people tend to sort of draw them on. Um, and I'm almost 40, so the younger I could look, I'll take it, you know. All right. So now that I have my foundation on, you notice that I did not put any under my eye. The reason being is because I'm going to use our Magic Vanish. This is our color corrector. And it comes in four different shades. I'm using the shade number two. It's kind of like a peach shade. And I'm using my ring finger because this is the less aggressive finger. It doesn't pull as much. And I just want you guys to look. I'm not even going to look at the camera. I just know that this is working. I'm just tapping it. And then we're going to compare the underneath the eyes. This is a color corrector that's peach. And peach cancels out blue tones. And where do we get blue tones? Under the eyes, like discoloration, dark circles. We haven't slept. Look at the difference between the two. Can you guys see? So much brighter. To be honest, this color is so forgiving that I oftentimes just wear it as a concealer. So I don't necessarily have to wear concealer, but we're going to add a little concealer as well. Am I not using a base? Um, you mean like a primer? Emma, the Magic Cream has a built-in makeup primer. So if that's what you're talking about, it's built in there. So I do not necessarily need to use a makeup primer. Um... Yeah. And then for my eyes, you could put a little on your eyes if you want to, like your eyelids. I don't ever really necessarily do this because Charlotte's eyeshadows have a built-in primer, but if you want to, you can. Look at that. That's cool. Um, oh, thanks, Roberto. I try. Sunblock, guys, is the secret to youthful looking skin. And drink plenty of water which I could be using more right now. Okay. So I get a little hyperpigmentation around my mouth. So I'm going to also use a little bit of this right here. And also right here. Again, this is the magic vanish. I get a little here. And this is the shade two. If you're a little lighter than me, you can use the shade one. Shade three is an orange, which is really good if you have like really dark discoloration. And then shade four is a red tone. So if you're on the richer, deep complexion side, kind of a chocolatey complexion, that's a really good color corrector too. All right. I feel good about this. So I still want a little more coverage. On a day-to-day -day basis, I usually don't. But I do want more coverage, so I'm going to use Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. We love her. She's great for brightening. She's great for lifting. I'm going to put just a little bit underneath the eyes. And again, I'm a big fan of using my hands. I feel like your body heat really warms the products up. Um, 
Oh, thank you, Emma. Yes. Yeah, so the goal really with this whole thing is that immediate skin revival. So right now we have really amazing skincare on, right? And so that's already going to give me the glow that I wanted to achieve. But on top of it, I want to have still like perfected skin um, because, you know, I'm at work or I, I've got a head to work. And so I'm adding Charlotte's skincare infused complexion products. And we're going to do a little bit of color as well. But really, all of this is super lightweight. You can wear as much or as little as you want. Both the foundation is a medium coverage. That uh, color corrector is more of like a sheer to medium. And this concealer is medium buildable. So this is a brightening concealer. It has rose complex. So again, even if I didn't wear a corrector, this is still pretty brightening for underneath the eye if you do have discoloration. So here we go. There's a little concealer. Now I feel like I'm going to put on a little bit of powder um, because I'm a little shinier than I want to be. So I'm going to be using Charlotte's beautiful, or what is, what is this called? Airbrush Flawless Finish. And obviously I love her because she has a little belly button. And I'm using the powder and sculpt brush. So because this is super finely uh, jet milled, you do not need to use a big fluffy brush like this. Just a small tiny one because it's going to take down the shine, but it's still going to leave a nice glow. So a lot of times when you wear powder, you look a little more matte. Sometimes people look a little cakey, but what's great about Charlotte's powder is she came out with one for people who don't like powder. Safe for underneath the eyes, it'll never look crepey or creased at all. This has that rose wax and almond oil in it. So it's almost like a hydrating powder, which I know is an oxymoron. It kind of reminds me of like when people say jumbo shrimp. Um, so you can use this if you have super dry skin. You can use this if you have oily skin. You can just do the T-zone if you want to. You can do the full face if you want to. It's totally up to you. Ideally with a brush, not a sponge. The sponge will make it look a little bit more coverage. Okay, so now that I have my powder on, I feel like a blank slate and I need to add a little more shape to my face. So I'm going in with Charlotte's Airbrush Bronzer. First of all, how beautiful is this little clamshell looking product? And I'm using the shade number two medium with Charlotte's Airbrush. So first of all, if you always have, you know, a desire to carry your brushes with you in your purse, but then they just make a mess, check this out. You pop it up and you poof, poof it out. So you've got this really gorgeous kabuki brush with your bronzer. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Fun little fact, this is also refillable. So if you do not want to throw away this beautiful packaging, you just pop it out. There's a little hole in the back. Oops, right over here. And then you put the refill in. And it actually, you save a little bit of money. So I'm going to brontour. Essentially, I'm going to put this along my cheeks to give myself a little bit of warmth. We're 18 minutes in and we still got a little bit to do, a little bit of brows and eyes and lips. But how are we liking the look so far? Uh, you love the powder. Uh, yeah, the belly button in that powder, I'm telling you. Uh, the Magic Vanish also does get rid of redness, yes. Helps with a lot of discoloration. Just in general, it's kind of brightening. I wanna put this around my forehead. Because if you have, let's say, a five or six head, this is going to help sort of warm up the area. You know, when you look cute, you like to zhuzh your hair. I feel like it's coming along, you guys. I don't know. What do you guys think? All right. So I've got my bronzer on. Oh, I want to put this away. So I just pull this little guy up. And then you pop the lid back on. And look, no frayed hairs. Love this guy. All right. So... Part of facial framework, like I just did here, is eyebrows. So if your eyes are the windows to the soul, then I feel like the eyebrows are the curtains and you must mind the curtains. So I'm gonna be using our brow cheat. And since I've recently gone and given myself red hair, I'm gonna be using a shade called Soft Brown. And normally my, as you can see, my hair is like pretty much black on my eyebrows. Um, oh, thank you. You can get up, yes, our uh, airbrush powders or airbrush flawless finish powders are also refillable. Um, we have a lot of things that are refillable. So our magic cream is refillable. Our airbrush flawless finish powder is refillable. The bronzer is refillable. Guess what? This brow pencil, oh my gosh, my hands are like so slick. 
This brow pencil is also refillable. So you can pop this little pencil part off here and you can buy the refill. So instead of getting a whole new pencil, you just pop the new one in. So Charlotte is, this package is not metal. No, this is probably plastic. Um, oh, our magic cream is glass packaging. The old package used to be plastic. So now it's glass. That's why uh, we don't want you to throw that away. It's so beautiful and luxe. You just buy the refill, which is a plastic, um, kind of like a little K-cup looking thing, like those coffee inserts. Okay, so Charlotte is known for that 90s supermodel brow. So what I'm going to do is I'll do one side and you guys can look at the difference. And all I'm doing with this is this has a super micro precision tip that creates little hair strokes and I have a lot of sparseness in my brow so I'm just doing a bunch of little dashes I'm not filling it in like a you know I'm not coloring it in I'm just making little tiny lines and don't worry if it looks so intense because we have the spoolie on the other end and that's going to soften it after I fill it in. So I'm just drawing all these little hairs, getting my arch. I give myself a little length. Like, would you, you guys, look at the difference between these brows. So if this is too intense, all you have to do is you just go in with the spoolie side and I'm combing, combing, combing through very softly, not pressing too hard. And I'm just brushing this guy through. You guys, look at her here and look at how sad she is there. Like, and that took no time whatsoever. Are we liking this brow? Emma, the skin is glowing, right? Even with the powder. See, we don't want to look dry. Charlotte always says, you know, that youthful skin is a little glowy, a little more hydrated. So it's interesting because for many years, people would tell mature women and men that they needed to wear matte, that they needed to stay away from shimmer, that it would enhance texture. And there are some types of, shimmers that definitely will but charlotte is so mindful about the ingredients that she uses and the products that she creates that they're actually quite youth boosting so if you use a proper glow you can turn back the hands of time with a little bit more of a hydrated glowing complexion you guys look at these brows are you kidding me bold brows and it just looks bold now because i don't have any other products on but once I get some eyes going this is actually going to look pretty balanced okay we've got less than 10 minutes to finish her up so um I tend to have little brow hairs that kind of go downwards so I'm going to use Charlotte's brow fix and this is a clear brow gel I love this because it's waterproof 24 hour wear um, it helps my brows stand up. It gives you that kind of laminated look that everybody really loves right now. The trick is, is you want to look fluffy, but not wolfy, if you know what I mean. I want to give you that 90s sort of Brooke Shields, Cindy Crawford vibe. You know, they have such great brows back then. And then in the 90s, we, I definitely am guilty of over tweezing the brows. So I love that they were able to grow back. But I also love that I can fake it till I make it using Charlotte products. Okay. So that was the brow fix. Oh, you guys, we're coming down to the wire. We've got seven minutes. I'm going in next with eyes to mesmerize in the shade pillow talk. This is Charlotte's, um, cream eyeshadow, and I'm going to first apply it with her blending brush. So you can actually apply it with your fingers if you want to, but I'm going to use this brush and I'm just going to wash it over my eyelid um, if you wanted to you do your fingers, like I said, let me just show that you can apply first with your fingers like I am here and then use a brush to soften the edges. So this is going to be more for like a really quick on the go. Maybe you're just running to the market and you don't want to go bare faced. Um, you can put a little bit of the pillow talk wash on your eyes. Great with all eye colors. Like I have brown eyes and I love this one. It'll be really pretty with anybody with green eyes because it's pink and complementary color to green is red. And pink is essentially 
a version of red. So it's going to really make green eyes pop. But if you have blue eyes, it's absolutely stunning. You can see the models on charlottetilbury.com wearing this that have blue eyes. Hazel eyes, of course. So really, it's going to be gorgeous on any, any eye color. So Charlotte actually created her eyes to mesmerize for more of a mature woman. So her mom is in her 70s. And her mom is named Patsy. And you can watch one of her videos here on YouTube where she uses the eyes to mesmerize. And this is one of those things where a mature person sometimes shies away from shimmer. But this has vitamin E. It's hydrating. It's not going to enhance the appearance of fine lines or texture, which sometimes, you know, as you get older, we get a little bit of wrinkles and all those things. This is actually going to blur them. So now I'm going in with my smudger brush. Look at this guy. And I'm going to apply a little bit along the bottom lash line. Sorry, guys, I get a little cross-eyed sometimes. Don't mind me. I'm going to apply a little bit and I'm putting my chin down. So if you guys are ever trying to do like the underneath of your eye and you're having difficulty, put your chin down and you're able to get the whole bottom part. Same with the top of your eye. You don't have to close it. Just put your chin up for the top, chin down for the bottom. So chin down for the bottom here with my smudger brush. Oops, I just poked my own eye out. Okay. So now we've got that done. This is the Eyes to Mesmerize in Pillow Talk. We love this. Uh, sponges are okay. I prefer fingers or brushes for sure. Just like LL said, sometimes a sponge absorbs it. Ooh, you use these on the lips? I've never tried that. That's interesting. Okay, so up next, with the few minutes we have left, I'm going to go in with the Classic Pencil in Classic Brown. And I promise you this is usually bigger, but she's a big fan of it. So she's almost out of it. <laughs> I use this often. I need to get a new one. Look how small it is. You guys, if you do not believe that we are also fans of Charlotte products, this will tell you that we are because we use them up. Okay. So I'm going to just, because I have more of a, a hooded eye, I'm going to really keep my liner to the outside corner. What I love about the classic pencils is these are literally powder pencils. They are so it's kind of like eyeshadows, you know what I mean? So they're not waterproof, but I don't find that they smudge. I just like to pop a little bit on in the corner. You can clean it up with your finger, a cotton bud, and then I've just got a very quick wing. So I have a hooded eye. I'm only going to do it in the corner. If you have like more almond shape eyes or a rounder eye, you could go all the way across if you want to. This is safe for the waterline. So if you want to put a little bit on the bottom, you also can do that. But I just kind of like a cute little, hmm, a cute little kitten eye. Now I'm going to really make my eyes pop using Charlotte's Pillow Talk Push Up Lash Mascara. We're coming to the end here soon. We still got a little bit of cheek to do. Ooh, I better pick up the pace here, folks. Okay. So Pillow Talk Push Up Lash Mascara. I will just put a soft little bit of this on it gives you here I'll go close so you guys can watch this gives you 24 hour vertical lift it has two flat sides and two bristly sides so the bristles will comb through whereas the pa the flat side kind of paints on the mascara this is really great for a person who doesn't have a, a curl to their lash that their lashes are super straight 24 hour vertical lift. This also has keratin in it. Do you guys see the difference? I get a little cross-eyed. Don't forget. Don't, don't mind me if I'm looking all these different ways. So big eyes, little baby eyes. So let's go ahead and put a little bit more on this side. Pillow talk. And this comes in two shades. So I'm using the black, but we also have one called dream pop, which is kind of like a brown brownish burgundy, which is really pretty. To be honest, I probably should have used that because it actually really matches my hair color like an auburn yeah that's the color like coppery almost all right we're gonna put a little bit on the bottom and keep on trucking okay so got my mascara on i'm feeling good oh my gosh you guys we we're almost out of time all right so now i'm gonna do blush so i'm using pink pop this is charlotte's brand new um matte beauty blush wands one little dot let's do two like so, and I'm going to blend it using her Hollywood complexion brush. And I like that it just gives you this really cute sort of dewy 
sweet pink look. She calls this her one dot wonder. Well, today we're going to do two dot wonder. And I'm just tapping it on. I'm not swiping it. Look at how cute that is, you guys. It's really cute with the pink pillow talk eye. And I feel like to round this off, we're going to use a little bit of a, a deeper pink lip. So I'm going to be using the color Super Size Me. Let's blot off some of my lip oil. And because these are long wearing waterproof, I actually like to use it as lipstick. So I'm going to color my whole lip in like so. I have a lot of pigment in my lip, naturally. Here we go. And this is meant to resize and reshape your lips. So feel free to overdraw if you want to tastefully. I like this because even if you're drinking coffee, having dinner, whatever, your lips will stay on. This is really nice. I am going to add a little bit of gloss. Let's give it a little. Mm, my lips feel really juicy from the lip oil, but I want to give this a little bit of shine. So I'm going to be using Charlotte's Collagen Lip Bath in Pillow Talk. And I love this because it's a coconut oil based lip plumper. So you get a little tingle, but not a burn. And I'm just going to do it right in the center like that. All right. To finish off this look, I am going to give myself a little shimmer to the cheek. And I'm using Charlotte's brand new Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighters. And I'm going to use the shade Pillow Talk with our bronzer and blusher brush. So I'm going to give it a little swipe. And then look at this. I'm going to go up close. And you can use this as a highlighter, but I'm going to use it as a over the blush sort of cheek glow. Look at that, you guys. I want to give my whole face this glow. Let's put it a little higher over here. Are we seeing this? Do you guys see that shine? Super glowing, not glittery. Again, if you're more mature, you can use this. You guys, are we loving this? You're waiting for this glow, Emma. Here it is again, round two. I'm not even looking. You guys tell me, is it going on? I can't even see the camera. Oh, it came on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Oh, Suzanne, you're welcome. I want to put a little bit with my finger, the tip of the nose. She's cute. Let's do a little bit here. Let's do a little bit here too on top of the lip, the cupid's bow. Let's get my pinky. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was not planning on doing any of this. Put a little bit under my brow. Why not? Let's get a little bit more here. Put a little bit under my brow right there. The full glow. Now to finish this off, we cannot complete a look. The icing on the cake, Suzanne. Yes. The icing on the cake is this, to be honest. Well, this is going to lock the icing on. Maybe this is just like the protection. So this is Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, 16-hour wear. You do not want to waste this look. So you want to lock it on for the whole day. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Refreshing. Ah, it has green tea. It has aloe. It smells delicious. So you guys, we're three minutes over. This is the look. This is how to get that instant skin revival from Charlotte Tilbury. She's known as the queen of glow. I always like to say my three sort of um, desert island picks is going to have to be magic cream. Use this every single day. Um, I love the new magic cream body. I mean, like they go hand in hand, to be honest. And then my third one is probably going to have to be oh, so hard to say. Um well, the whole idea is the beautiful skin, right? So I'm going to say beautiful skin foundation. So those are my top three. Please follow us on Charlotte Tilbury um, on Instagram at Charlotte Tilbury Skincare. You can also follow me, Rashina Green. There's my name at Rashina Green Artistry on Instagram. I'd love to know what you guys were loving, what you were liking, what you want to buy. If you have any um, questions, you can totally ask me. I'm always here to offer my tips and tricks and all of my... Um, pro experience stuff with all of you, but it's been really amazing. Thank you all for joining all around the world, whether you're in the morning or the afternoon or the evening, have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.